The lines were long today as people flocked to Kings Island to be among the first to ride the record-breaking new roller coaster, the Banshee. But we also heard from some that it took longer than they expected to get on the ride because, well, people were getting sick. So Brooke Moore is asking questions about exactly what happened. Katie Park officials told us the wait was about two and a half hours to ride the hottest new attraction, a pretty normal time for a new coaster. And they say there were a few people who got sick, causing some delays. But they say they've seen this before, and we're asking questions about how you can avoid it. The track is more than 4,000 feet long, with seven loops and speeds of up to 68 miles per hour. Its design includes elements with names like dive loop and inline roll. So it's no wonder the Banshee's debut took stomach churning to a new level. There's going to be the occasional protein spill on the ride. The public relations director at Kings Island says despite the rave reviews, there are some people who get sick on the ride. He says it's likely because it's their first time on it. You know, maybe they can you know, eat a lot of food and then maybe get on some of the rides here, then they find the, the new attraction that, you know, maybe not. Is it eating right before the ride that's making people sick, or maybe the hills and loops? We took our questions to an ER physician at Kettering Medical Center. Oh, sometimes the roller coasters can throw off your inner ears and, and throw off your equilibrium, and that could certainly cause you to, to have nausea and vomiting. Dr. Brooke McCarthy says roller coasters give you a fight or flight response. She says it speeds your heart rate up. The type of rush that has many people coming back for more. A lot of times you see them back in line again, you know, an hour or so later they want to ride it again. Today, there were additional delays five to ten minutes to disinfect and retest the ride anytime someone got sick. But there are things you can do so you don't lose your lunch. I would certainly make sure that you're well hydrated to avoid the symptoms of uh, nausea, vomiting. Um, definitely, if you have underlying medical problems, I, I would definitely avoid the roller coasters as well. Kings Island reps say it was the same thing when Diamondback opened five years ago. Like swimming, they suggest waiting about 30 minutes after eating to ride. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore. Two news working for you.